become lover of wisdom. Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will arise from this guided inner journey much more confident, much more comfortable, and much more powerful than before. These guided meditations are meant to complement the teachings of my book From Fear to Freedom Through Greek Philosophy. The subconscious really receives these messages as instructions. This is something the ancient Greeks were very well aware of and that's why they had special dream incubation temples dedicated to the god of dreams, Morpheus, that we have heard of also in The Matrix. They called this type of learning hypnagogia. I've written and recorded them with a clear intention of helping people move from a place of anger, fear, frustration to a place of calm, confident self-leadership, essentially inner freedom. This is the place from where we can thrive and flourish as human beings. The ancient Greeks called this state eudaimonia. Now let's begin our beautiful journey. Take a deep breath, inhaling through the nose, holding that breath, letting it spread throughout your whole body, from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Allow the oxygen to nourish you and then exhale through the mouth, dropping your jaw open, allowing any stress to flow out of you. Observe the natural rhythm of your breath, like the waves of the sea. Your shoulders are relaxing. Your whole right arm is relaxing. Your whole left arm is relaxing. The abdomen area is relaxing. Your whole left leg. Your whole right leg. You feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper. The foamy waves ebbing and flowing on the shore. You are now walking along the shore alone. Your feet sinking into the soft, warm sand. Inhale the salty sea breeze and feel at peace as the warm sun kisses your face. An island basks in the distance, a lush green jewel in the sparkling sea. It has always been there, but you hadn't noticed it. It beckons you to its golden shores. Your curiosity is aroused. You decide you want to swim towards it. You take the first step. The water is warm and welcoming. Walking slowly into the water, it reaches your knees your waist. 
You push outwards with your arms, letting the sea envelop you, support you, as you float freely in its warm embrace, you feel cleansed and relaxed. Feel yourself floating, weightless, flowing. You see dolphins playing in the distance near the island. The seabed below is a glorious mosaic of life and colors. As you approach the island, you swim past ancient ruins. You have reached the sandy shore. Take a deep breath to marvel at the exotic beauty around you. A white robe rests on a rock in front of you with your name embroidered on it. There is also a gold medallion. You wear these and begin walking along the shore. Something is shining in the sand. It's a gold statue of a winged goddess. When you touch it, it transforms into a woman, a priestess. Her garments are flowing in the breeze. Her warm smile seems familiar like a long lost friend. Welcome to Eudaimonia, she says. This is a place of wisdom, wellness and wonder. We will proceed to the sanctuary where you can get insight on whatever has been making you anxious and upset in your life lately. Now she turns inland towards the palm trees and signals for you to follow her. You pass a sunny olive grove Further up the path, you see cypress trees, an orange grove. Near the top, there are majestic waterfalls. Finally, you reach a beautiful Grecian temple on the hill overlooking the whole island. You follow her up a wide marble staircase to the main entrance. Above it, there is an inscription in Greek, Ain Aristevin, ever to excel. You enter the grand chamber. Here there is a sense of quiet and tranquility. The priestess turns to you and says, this is the place of learning and transformation. You want to express your highest self at all times. One strategy we can use is to contemplate a role model and measure ourselves against their performance. The Stoics either used Zeus, Hercules, Socrates, or the ideal sage as a role model. They would ask, what would the sage do? 
Now, the Stoic sage is an ideal yet hypothetical role model in Stoic philosophy. The sage is absolutely virtuous, wise, and good, a perfect human being. Their character is honorable and praiseworthy, and they live a smoothly flowing life in perfect harmony with themselves and the whole of nature. This fictional ideal gives us a direction, structure, and consistency in our actions. As we want to make progress, we might compare ourselves against this ideal by asking, what would the sage do? This can help us make the best decisions in challenging situations. This simple question is helpful because it brings a pause between stimulus and response. It brings awareness into any situation, which is the first step towards positive change. Asking what the sage would do gains time and prevents us from reacting mindlessly. It enables us to stay at the steering wheel of our actions and choose our best possible response. So in the words of Seneca, we need to set our affections on some good person and keep them constantly before our eyes so that we may live as they lived. This is Epicurus's advice and in giving it, he has given us a guardian and a moral tutor, and not without reason, either. Misdeeds are greatly diminished if a witness is always standing near. So, obviously, Seneca believes that it increases awareness. It's as if there is a witness in the room when we are about to act. Listen to Seneca and always keep a role model in mind. It doesn't need to be the sage. You can choose who you learn from. It can be an idol like Elon Musk, a superhero like Batman, or just a person you admire like your mother, your father, or grandparents. Imagine this person to constantly be watching you and your actions. This will bring more awareness into your daily life and enable you to choose your actions more deliberately. I'll leave you some space here to think about who your role models are, who you will draw inspiration and strength from. Repeat your deep affirmation three times mentally. Place your right hand over your heart and repeat it mentally. This is an oath to yourself. No matter what may happen in your life from now on, you will remember this oath. No one can ever take it away from you.
Your transformation is complete. It's time to return. The priestess leads you outside the temple. The sun warms your face again. As you descend the stairs, a golden mirror appears in front of you, suspended in the air. In it, you can see your future. It's a bright, positive future. You walk with confidence and certainty. There's a smile on your face and your shoulders are back with your head held high. You are acting with ethos, handling all your businesses from a place of integrity and truth, attracting the right people to collaborate with. See yourself enjoying and appreciating life with enthusiasm and passion. You are being creative attracting more affluence and abundance. You follow the priestess back in the direction of the shore, past the waterfalls, down the hill, past the orange grove, the cypress trees, and further down the path, the olive grove. Finally, you arrive at the palm trees at the golden beach. The priestess smiles at you. This is where we part, she says. Go forth and shine your light. And if sometimes you feel like you want to renew yourself, Eudaimonia is your home, and I will always be here for you. Just follow the sun and the voice in your heart. You turn to gaze at the brilliant sunset. When you turn back, the priestess is no longer there. There is only the small statue resting in the sand. You know that the priestess will always be with you, that you can always come back to Eudaimonia. like, comment, and share these videos with as many friends as possible. And you're welcome to support the production of these guided meditations through becoming a patron. When you become a patron, you can also have more say as to what types of meditations I upload. Is that you get to listen to these guided meditations without any advertisement interruptions. Please.